Meanwhile, we're getting reaction to these new rules from business owners this evening and whether they'll be checking vaccine cards or simply requiring masks for everyone. That's right. A lot of questions for that story. We turn to Fox 12's Kendra Kent, who joins us now live in Hillsdale. Kendra. Yeah, that's right, Bonnie. And we did speak with a couple of businesses here in this plaza behind me. Both of them did tell us today that they'd already decided before today's announcement that they would keep requiring masks for their shoppers. Now, both businesses I spoke with today are retailers and said they hadn't yet heard the announcement that came in from OHA this afternoon when we were talking with them. The manager of Paloma, a woman's clothing store, told us that they'll continue to require all customers to wear face coverings as a safety precaution and largely because case counts are still high here in Multnomah County. You don't know who's vaccinated and who's not vaccinated. It's not necessarily a conversation I want to have with every single person. I just want to keep our community safe, my employees safe. Um, and we're going to just probably take it not just week by week, but day by day of everything, you know, the decisions that we make. We also spoke with the owner of Other World Games and Comics. Ron Connell is taking a mixed approach when it comes to the customers that he serves. Connell says that he'll keep the masks required sign on his door through at least July and require anyone who walks in to wear a mask. But the shop also hosts events for the community like gameplay, tournaments and summer camps for kids. Connell says in those instances, he will allow people to remove their masks if they can show they are fully vaccinated. And as of right now, he plans to keep it pretty simple for his very first planned event since the pandemic. That's coming up this weekend. The store will ask to see COVID-19 immunization records at the door. We will ask for either the hard card, the hard copy, copy or a picture of it on your phone. The state says we need more than we'll do more. And again, it's not exactly clear all of the different steps that businesses will have to take to uh, prove that people have totally been vaccinated in this process. And we do want to also add that the rules are different across the river over in Washington state. Their businesses do have the option of determining whether or not they want customers to wear masks inside their stores. However, if they don't, want to do that, they will not be required, or I should say they are not required to keep track of vaccine records or ask to see them. Reporting live tonight, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.